name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, I know I'm only 17, and significantly younger than most of the people here. Um, but I want to talk about struggle today. <laughs> Everyone goes through hard times. Everyone has a story, even if they don't want to admit it to themselves or others. As a Christian, I've heard all of the scriptures about enduring hardship like a soldier of Jesus Christ, about how struggle produces perseverance, perseverance, character, hope, and so on. Those are all lovely and easy to rattle off pieces. But what about when you hear your sister is making herself throw up in the bathroom? What about when your friend starts doing bad things to herself in order to cope with depression? What about when your daughter hasn't eaten in days? Or when, in the span of a couple years, you lose 11 people from your life? Then those verses become hard and even infuriating. Psalm 71, verse 20 says, Though you made me see troubles, many and bitter, you will restore my life again. Why? Why do we have to see these troubles? This is a question I've been wondering since I was 11, and apparently that's when my depression started. I've tried everything with God, begging, bargaining, and weeping. None of them produced the awesome deeds of righteousness I was searching for. These verses sound to me, anyway, like they are condensing, like they are condensing struggle and pain that is very real for us. However, the people who wrote these are humans too, and therefore had their own struggles. James and John were given the choice to either stay with their families or to follow the Messiah. And although the answer seems clear in retrospect, I can't imagine the pain that that would have caused. When I was growing up, my favorite Bible story was Esther. Esther was always a hero to me. That and Moses were my favorite stories. However, now having been through my own personal trials, I have to wonder if Esther had extreme anxiety having to deal with being the one hope for her people. I have to wonder if Moses didn't have extreme depression wandering around in the desert by himself because he just couldn't take what was going on where he grew up anymore. The disciples saw times where every early Christian around them was being persecuted, and most of them were killed themselves. There was nothing about faking it till you make it that they could handle. It's tan it was tangibly for them about how to make the struggle worth it. I had a really rough day at the beginning, or at the end of this summer, beginning of the school year, where I spent the whole morning weeping in my bedroom. I was mad at the world, I was mad at all of my friends, and I had this moment where I realized that I needed to do something to make myself happy or I was going to spin out of control. Two things that make me happy in this world, flowers and tea. That's all it takes. Flowers and tea and I'm a happy camper. So I decided to get up and go buy myself flowers. I was just going to walk down the street to the avenue flower shops, you know, nice walk to clear my head. I got out there, I bought about four dozen roses. <laughs> and spent the rest of the day handing them out at Queen's Park. That was huge. And in that moment, I was given such perseverance, and through that perseverance was able to see hope. I had no hope when I was sitting in my basement bedroom. I was just miserable and wallowing. My, my um, personal struggle then took me out to the Queen's Park, where I started talking to all of these people and making their day and making them smile and realizing that I was inspiring hope for them too. And a lot of them were going through dark times that came out in that one act of, hey, want a flower? I want to urge you all, again, I'm sure you've heard it before, but to not, to think about those people who wrote the lovely, or said the lovely quotes that we read and who trusted in the Lord wholeheartedly. They had to be intentional and active in their faith. Esther had to get up the courage. She had to try twice to set up two dinners and, and get up the courage to talk to the king about how to save her people. Paul wrote in Romans 5, verse 3 to 5, More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, endurance produces character, character produces hope, and hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. I would not have been able to do that if I didn't have the Holy Spirit in me. I was just mad. I was an angsty teenager. I took that chance 
And I want, and it wasn't, it wasn't something that fell in my lap. It wasn't like, oh, I'm just going to wait it out. It'll be fine. Fake it till I make it, right? I had to be active in my faith and go out and say, you know what? I'm worth something. I'm worth being happy, and God wants me to be happy. So how do I do that? It's no, nothing about faith is easy. Nothing about being happy is easy. Sure, there are fleeting moments where somebody makes you laugh, but you have to be active in it. I've spent a huge portion of this year trying to figure out how not to hate the rest of high school. It was, it was a rough time, and now I am, and I love it, and I'm really getting a lot out of it. The more that you put in, as cliche as it sounds, the more you get out. It's hard, and it makes me angry a lot of the time that I can't just have happiness fall in my lap like it seems like everybody else does. But I guess the moral of what I'm trying to say is the Lord has give, has he doesn't give us strength. He doesn't say, oh, you've prayed for strength. Go forth and have strength. He says, okay, here's your opportunity. You already have strength in you. Let me show you how to realize it, how to use it. Again, very cliche, but you have, it, it's a matter of what are you going to do about it? You're sad. What are you going to do about it? He's given you the happiness, the strength, the ability. It's time to act on it. Thank you. And as per usual, we're going to do our little other people having comments. Want to say anything or anything I've missed? Any commentary? <laughs>